Jupiter, a gas giant and perhaps the biggest planet in the solar system. What would happen to you if you fell into Jupiter and what would you see on your way down? Let us suppose that you were flying around Jupiter and then decided to take a plunge so you would know what is inside the planet for yourself. If you were wearing a normal spacesuit, you would be dead before you even approach the atmosphere and that would be because of radiation. Jupiter's intense radiation is among the reasons why exploring Jupiter is very difficult. It even fries electronic instruments. Instead of just dying, let us suppose you are wearing a special science fiction spacesuit that will protect you from the intense radiation, heat and pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere. Entering Jupiter's atmosphere would be hundreds of times worse than entering Earth's atmosphere in terms of the heat and shock. It would be more like riding a nuclear blast. After the entry, you would be falling from the top of Jupiter's atmosphere at 30 miles per second. Now this is much faster than you will fall from the top of Earth's atmosphere. That is because Jupiter is a much bigger planet than Earth, therefore its gravity is also much greater. Jupiter is up to 200 times the size of the Earth. As you fall through Jupiter, it will be like being in an alien chemical factory. The first thing you will encounter on your way downwards would be ammonia clouds. Clouds that consist of frozen ammonia crystals. As you fall a bit more downwards, let's say 74 miles deeper, this depth is probably the deepest any exploration has ever gone. In 1995, NASA's Galileo probe was dropped into Jupiter. It made it this far just to get destroyed by Jupiter's atmospheric pressure. But that is not going to happen to you. As you continue to fall, sunlight would keep reducing until it is pitch dark. But this time, your spacesuit science fiction instruments helps you to keep seeing. As you go deeper, temperatures would keep increasing and pressure would be a thousand times greater than the pressure of Earth's atmosphere at sea levels. At this point, if you get bored and try to radio for someone to come get you, the planet's atmosphere would absorb the radio waves. Those clouds would ensure no radio waves escape. As you fall through Jupiter's water clouds, intense lightning would crackle around you. These deep water clouds are the source of Jupiter's lightning. They can create lightning many times more powerful than the lightning experienced on Earth. After falling for 12 hours, you must have been really hungry, but you can't eat. If you open your space food, you would immediately die. So instead of trying to eat and killing yourself in the process, you would have to keep falling. After falling for many hours and thousands of kilometers, you would reach Jupiter's core. At this point, temperatures would be equivalent to the surface of the sun and the pressure would be equivalent to 1 million times the pressure at sea levels on Earth. After reaching Jupiter's core, you would be trapped there forever in total darkness with temperatures reaching equivalent to the surface of the sun and pressure equivalent to a million Earth atmospheres. If you manage to survive all that, it would not be a rewarding trip at all. All your lands can't be transferred to anybody but is stuck on the planet. So, it is better to stay back on Earth and watch more of our videos, rather than becoming part of Jupiter forever. Thanks for watching the video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell.